music explorers discover the orchestra. Hello, music explorers. Welcome to Severance Hall, home of the world famous Cleveland Orchestra. I'm Major Scale. And I'm Ranger Rhythm, your musical guides reporting for duty. Are you ready to explore with us? Today, we're going to meet a very special instrument in the orchestra, the bass. Say it with me, bass. bass. Before we meet the bass, can you tell me what letter bass starts with? B. You're right, B. Bass starts with the letter B. The letter B, B, B says B, B, B. The letter B, B, B says B, B, B. In words like bass, ball, boy, and bug. The, the letter, letter B, 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 B says B, B, B. Now, let's listen to what the bass sounds like. Beautiful. I wonder, how does the bass make sound? Music explorers, let's investigate! What do you notice about the bass? It's pretty big, isn't it? Bass players have to stand up or sit on a high stool to play the bass because it's so big. What do you think the bass is made out of? You're right, wood. The base is made of wood. The body of the base has two holes in the wood on either side that look kind of like an S or a fancy F. These are called the F holes, and it's where the sound comes out of the instrument. How do you think the base makes sound? You're right, using the strings. How many strings are on the base? Let's count them. One, two, Three, four. The bass has four strings. When the bass player plucks the strings, they vibrate and make sound. Look closely. Do you see the string vibrating? Cool. Me too. The strings vibrate to create the sound, and the body of the bass amplifies the sound, which comes out of the F holes. That means it makes it louder, so you can hear it all the way over there. Bass players can also use this stick with hair to make sound. It's called the bow. Say it with me. Bow. Did you know the hair on the bow comes from a horse's tail? <laughs> and now, the greatest detectives in orchestra history. The people you call when cellos, mouthpieces, or the conductor go missing, Sherlock Hall Notes and Inspector Sharp. I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter B. The bass. Let's search for the basses in the orchestra. Remember, basses are really big. In fact, they are the biggest string instrument in the orchestra. You found them. How many basses do you see in this orchestra? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight basses in this orchestra. Did you know instruments have families just like we do? Instrument families sit near each other in the orchestra, and they all share some things that are the same. The bass is a member of the string family. Let's see if we can find the other instruments in the string family. Here are the violins, violas, and cellos. Oh, and the basses, of course. The string family is the biggest family in the orchestra. What is the same about instruments in the string family? You guessed it. They all have strings. They even all have the same number of strings. One, two, three, four. What else? They all are made of the same thing, wood. And they all have the F-holes, too. 
Remember, that's where the sound comes out. Well observed, explorers. Very well observed. Back to you, Ranger Rhythm. Thanks, Sherlock Hall Notes. Did you know that the bass sounds really, really low? Well, we know that the bass is really big. And the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. Let's see if we can decide which instrument sounds lower by comparing their size. Which instrument sounds lower, the flute or the bass? You're right! The bass is bigger than the flute, and it sounds lower than the flute. Which of these instruments sounds lower, the violin or the tuba? You're right again! The tuba is bigger than the violin, and it sounds lower than the violin. Let's try one more. Which instrument sounds lower, the trumpet or the bassoon? You got it! The bassoon is bigger than the trumpet, and it sounds lower than the trumpet. Music explorers, you've just unlocked another key to music exploration. Till next time, this is Ranger Rhythm, signing off.